Hey, are you ready to talk about the because today we're going to be talking about the passes, specifically the two passes you need in the simple air raid offense to be successful. Let's get into it. And hey, defensive coordinators, shut your dirty freaking mouth when I draw something up against too high. I can pull up Twitter thread after Twitter thread where people are running diagrams against too high. So just let me have it. So again, the formations, you can call it either dual, open, or ace because that means two by two. For us, we would call this ace, and that is just two by two, wise always to the right, and this is how we do it. So the R runs a snag. It is a slant sit if you're brand new to uh, football. The Y has a four step, that is very important, a four step corner. The running back in the backfield, the F has a shoot route. The reason why it's a shoot route is so it puts pressure on the corner. A swing really doesn't do that. F on the back side has a one-step slant. He is the hot. And the L on the very far left is a three-step hitch. Now, here it is. Here's the progressions. So pre-snap, you're either looking to hit the hitch or the slant first. The slant is when it's hot, when the uh, linebacker looks like he's blitzing. And the hitch, in this case, is going to be when you just have it. So if we're looking at this right now, if this man right here blitzes, then you're going to hit this hot slant. If this cornerback is back, you're going to hit the three-step hitch. All right? Post-snap, the moment you get the ball and you decide, I'm not going to the pre-snap, I'm going through my progressions, the progressions are really simple. Corner, swing, snag. And the reason why you want to do that is because it looks the same as stick, and I will talk about stick in another video, but you are going corner, swing, snag. And really, if this guy is all the way over like this and you know the corner's not there, you're playing the game off of this back. Swing, the snag. If he stays in, I go out. If he goes out, I go in. Make sure you stay to the end because I'm going to talk about a really simple pass protection that you can use for this for both of them so that you're not wondering, okay, that's great. Now, how are you going to block it? The second pass in this offense you want to put in is the Y cross. It is unbelievable. It is your drop back deep shot type of pass. It catches the defense off guard and it's very easy to run. So in this example, you have the L going vertical. It's an MOR vertical. You have the F running a three to five step out. We like to keep it at three because it helps with the hot. You got the Y going under the first backer, over the top of the second backer, trying to get 18 yards down the field to the opposite hash. And then the R has a 15 yard dig and he can settle up in grass. So the progressions are really simple. It is vert, out, cross, dig. Another way you can do that, left, middle, right. That's how we're gonna be doing it, okay? So vert, out, cross, dig, left, middle, right. That is very simple to do right here. Then now let's show some cut ups of the play in action. All right, right now we have corner out of blue green. Doesn't matter, I want you to see what happens. So we have the corner, we have the snag, and we have the flat. Notice how there's nobody back here. So the quarterback's thinking pre-snap. I think I got the corner. He sees it, he throws it. We run to the back pylon where that is what it should be. And then that is a great catch right there. So we got Y cross right now. He has got the vert. This man has the flat. This man right here has the cross and he has the backside dig. If you notice, the quarterback gets it. He takes three steps. He could throw it right now, but the Y is coming open. There's more grass for the Y. He just puts it up there and it's a nice, simple throw and catch. Again, this is such a nasty play for you to have in your offense. Now, the pass protection that you're gonna do, it's very simple, it's just gonna be the half slot. And what you wanna do is you wanna half slot away from the first progression. That's simple, it's nasty, your kids get it, it ties into the inside zone. And hey, if you wanna learn more about this offense, click right here.